Tuesday, May 1st, 2018, here we're at City Hall. Uh, I am uh, Mayor Zach Gerwig. We'll just go around for the roll for the purposes of the recording. Paul Shabilsky, City Clerk. Scott Kellogg, Allerman. Steve Both over. Joe Terry, Director of Public Works. Joe Zerflu, Alderperson. Tim DeSarcy, Finance. Bad Kubishak, Alderperson. Brian Geeper, Wastewater Superintendent. Uh, Lee Graff, Alderperson. Shane Blazer, Alderperson. And so we've got two alderpersons absent uh, this evening, uh, alderperson Rayom and alderperson Katnow, who could not be here. Uh, we'll move on to item number three on our agenda, which is consideration of a resolution authorizing the issuance and sale of up to $7,027,469 of taxable sewerage system revenue bonds, series 2018, and providing for other details and covenants with respect thereto and approval of related uh, $7,727,469 in financial assistance agreement. Um, Joe or Ryan, you want to speak first to the uh, request? Um, so basically, this is kind of the last step in securing the Green Water Fund loan from the DNR. Um, it's been something we've been kind of working on for a couple years now. Um, the design work is complete. It's been done by Strand Associates. Um, and basically, we're just waiting on having the loan approved. Um, we'll get started. My construction is ready to go to start construction of the lift station itself. And then um, A1 Excavating will be doing the force main river crossing pipe that's leaving the lift station. Um, but uh, yeah, it really, I, I think this has been in the work. Um, Jim Knights will put it in his budget up to two years ago. I believe that this, this west side lift station was past its useful life. Um, the pumps we have there currently are at the end of life. They're very inefficient. They're on the verge of failure. The backup power generation is to the point of being obsolete. And also the river crossing pipe itself um, has shown some signs that it's deteriorating. Our cathodic protection that we installed to protect it also has shown some issues with conductivity across the river. So we're fearful that we may have pipe problems under the river. So we want to um, get on the proactive side of this and get it replaced before it becomes a, an issue and it impacts our environment. So um, if there's any more questions about it, I can go into further detail if anyone likes. Um, you Just a few quick comments also. The, uh, the project has been uh, vetted through the DNR. The construction documents and the specifications um, you know, are done. The project has been let and the uh, bids have been awarded. Contracts have been signed, so they are contingent upon um, acquiring the clean water fund loan. That was a, a contingency of the specifications and the contract documents. So um, we are <coughs> anxious to move this project forward and, uh, and and stay on the positive end of this uh, this major piece of infrastructure. Uh, you, you may already know, but uh, the West Side Lift Station serves the entire West Side of the city, including the industrial park. The issues that we have right now is that if there is a failure of the lift station, um, there's no reasonable way to pump that material around. We have to haul it in trucks in order to accommodate that. Uh, we likely have to shut down all of our, our industrial customers. So um, you know, we want to make sure that we're, we're proactive and we get this thing repaired and, and replaced as, as soon as we possible. Another thing to mention too would be the um, seven some million dollar figure was figured into our recent rate study. Um, so the the impact on the rates to citizens has already been assessed and is being spread out over the next, I guess, 30 years, isn't it, on that schedule? So this isn't going to be um, something that needs a rate adjustment for it. Thank you for bringing that up, because that was a question I wanted to make sure we address. Call the person, please, sir. This pipe runs under the river, correct? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> So the current one lays on the bottom. It's uh, steel encased by cement. Um, and that era of cement is known to be a little bit suspect to failures. I think it was the 70s it was poured. Um, this one will actually be a directional bore underneath uh, the river, up to 50 feet below the river in granite. And it'll be an HDPE cold fused pipe. So um, that has a life expectancy of at least 100 years. It should be good for a, a long time. And then we can, at that time when we have a new active force main, we could look at rehabbing the old one so we have a redundancy. Um, kind of on the fence about that when you have one that should be good for 100 years, do you really want to look at 
the existing, because that may be bad by the time we need it, but um, it's on the table. And point of reference for the west side lift station for folks, especially those that might be watching, it's uh, uh, situated beneath the, between the zoo and the recreational trail, which also hosts our city sign shop too, if you ever checked it out. Um, it's a sight to see, it's a really cool building. I, I personally find it interesting. The era was built in and things are still a question about what that, uh, that building may service. Uh, the plan is not to demolish it at this point, that there still uh, will be a question and a discussion by the council of that, that particular building. So we just want to point that out too. Tim, uh, reading in here on the 2008 bond, what do we owe you on that one? You know, and what's our rate? Uh, that rate was close to 4%, so obviously we we fared better. <coughs> this one is a 1.8% okay. deposit rate. And the amount that we'll have outstanding after the payment we actually just made yesterday, or today, excuse me, uh, $16,800,000. And that was from the wastewater expansion plan, right? Yep, that was, oh, yep. Back then, yep. The VOD expansion and the upgrade. So we owe 16 on that one yet, and then they have this 7.5. Okay. Questions or comments? Anybody? I mean, Joe, I, pardon me, uh, we had talked before. I just noticed that these are 40 horse. So these are sizable. I didn't know what your capacity was on that. And is this the time to bring it up? I know this is for issuing the bonds, and yeah, we can do a change order for that. Yeah, so the, the motors and pumps are designed uh, to be redundant. Um, if, if we need to do you know, change orders, during the project construction, we can uh, certainly discuss that. Um, but I don't, I don't anticipate that those things were designed pretty carefully, so I'm pretty confident that that's. I was, I was, I was meeting the lift on the back of the truck, the capacity of the lift on the back of the truck. Oh, yes. um, they're about they're about 50 percent of what the truck can lift. Okay, I just wanted to clear it out. So we use we use those to pull the pumps out of the uh, the uh, big lift station, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then we don't have a pump that's too big for a crane at this point. So. Okay. Other questions or comments related to the resolution? I guess I'd make a motion to approve the to adopt the resolution. A motion by Blazer. Is there a second? Oh, second. Second. second by Zero Food. Uh, any further discussion? Request to speak. See no further request to speak. Motion is to approve. All in favor, say that by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? The ayes have it. Move on to item number four, adjournment. I entertain a motion. Motion to adjourn. Dr. McCall, say by Kluschak. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? The ayes have it. All right. We're adjourned. <laughs>